Okay, in previous videos, we have discussed the three laws of logarithms. And in these videos, I'm going to show you uh, some examples of uh, using these laws to solve the problems that involve uh, logarithms. Let's start with the first example. Express the following in terms of uh, log x base a and log y base a. Okay. Let's copy the question here. We have log 3x a okay and we learn that by using the products laws uh, we can straight away tell that this is equal to log 3a plus um, log x a yeah? okay um, b we have log x over 5 base a and uh, by using the quotient law this is log x a minus log 5a. Yeah? Okay, multiplication become additions and uh, divisions become uh, subtractions. C. Log y to the power of 5a. Okay, by using uh, the power law, yeah? okay, straight away we can tell that uh, we put the 5 in front of the log, so it becomes uh, 5 log 5 base a yeah? okay so how about this one um log x y cube base a so uh, this is equal to log x base a plus multiplication it become additions so log y cube base a and we know that we can apply the power laws uh, to move this tree in front of the log. It becomes plus three log y base a. Yeah? Okay. So e we have um, log x square over y yeah? square root of y. Okay. So this is equal to log x square and uh, division become subtractions minus log y base a and log y base a and we know that square root actually is equal to uh, the power of 1 over 2 uh, 1 over 2 okay and then uh, by using the power law we can shift this 2 and this is half in front of the log uh, so it becomes 2 log okay this is base a yeah, 2 log x base a minus 1 over 2 yeah, by using the power law we move this 1 over 2 uh, before this log here so 1 over 2 log y base a okay and the last one f log base a square root of um, y a square x cube okay now for this one i can straight away write the answer okay now uh, square root is equal to the power of uh, one over two okay so we and then this one over two we can straight away uh, shift it uh, before to the place before this log here so it's one over two one over two and then um, let me put a bracket here so then we have log y log y okay over a square um so over or divide become minus eh? minus and uh, the square can be put in front of uh, the log so it become two log a yeah? base a <coughs> and then so again minus because uh, it's divisions y divided by x cubed right? so uh, minus and then this by using the power law we shift the tree in front to the front of the lock here so it becomes three here and then it's lock x three lock x and then close bracket and this is the answer now if you want you can convert this lock a base a equal to one so then it become so it become minus two okay it become minus two okay 
Okay, let's see another example express the following as single logarithm. Just now we are given one uh, logarithm terms and then expand it to with a few uh, logarithms. And now we are given a few terms in logarithms and then we are asked to combine them together to make them a single logarithm. So, okay, let's see how we do this. A, so we have log x base a plus log y square base a okay um okay so so straight away actually we can tell that this is equal to log x y square base a right okay um b log x base a plus log y base a minus one okay now, um, just now we have learned that 1 actually is equal to log a base a, yeah? Okay, 1 equal to log a base a. So let's convert this to log a base a, yeah? Log a base a, okay. So now we can straight away write the answer. This becomes log base a x Okay, additions become multiplication, x, y, and then minus become divisions, a. Okay, so this is the answer. So this is a single logarithm. Uh, C, 2 log x base a minus 2 plus 1 over 2 log y base a. Okay, so by using the power laws, and then so we know that we can shift this two back to uh, the x here become x square. So this become log x square base a. Yeah? Okay, these two are the same, and then minus. So this one actually we, just now we learned that one equals to log uh, log a base a. Yeah? Okay, so um, then two or oh, right, right here two two actually is equal to log base a a square okay log a base a square so this is minus two so it become log base a a square okay and then plus um log y uh, by using the power laws okay we shift this one over two back to the y here become y to the power of one over two and then base a and then so let's combine them together uh, so this become log x square okay we have this is a plus log y uh, to the power of 1 over 2 uh, so this is y to the power of 1 over 2 and then minus become divisions and uh, divided by a square divided by a square so this is uh, c and the last one d so we have 2 log 1 over 3 plus 3 log 3 over 4 yeah? 3 over 4 and then we know that this is equal to log 1 over 3 square plus log 3 over 4 okay so we shift this 3 back to this uh, log here so it becomes to the power of 3 or q okay? And then we can combine these two together, it becomes LG um, 1 over 3 square 3 over 4 cube. So this is cube, and yes, this is the answer. Okay, so um, so these two examples shows how do we use the law of logarithms to solve some of the problems or uh, find the, uh, the answers that uh, we are asked to find.